Hey everybody, it's me Margaret, back again following the January Declutter 365 missions. The link to this process is in the description box if you'd like to join me, although I tend to skip around the calendar. Well, here, I'll show you. Alright, I'm going down my January decluttering mission list and I have done stuff where either they don't apply to me, I've put little squares for check boxes on what I need to do, and everything with these lines right here, that involves my pantry. I have this declutter the water bottles down here. That's my pantry as well. Some of these I've already done as part of my kitchen cabinet stuff, so they've gotten checked off. Yeah, let's go check out this pantry. The pantry is a huge big deal because it tends to be a catch-all. It's also where Tucker keeps his grill stuff, so I am not allowed to touch that. <laughs> You know how everybody has their best way of sorting things and you don't you don't want me to go in there and rearrange everything the way he's got it so i give him his little area and he can do with it as he sees fit now this pantry was a little bit of a culture shock to me after i had come from my house that we had built and designed just as we wanted it but it is an ample pantry but i have organized it once since we have moved in here you know, of course, once when we moved in, and then again another time. But I have to do it again, especially my spices here. They really need some attention. So, it's a mess. Let's get to it. Now, while some people find this freeing, I find it, it makes me a nervous wreck. These are things that have either expired or maybe, maybe I've... Um, you know, combined these nuts in with some other nuts or something like that. That whey protein I found in a cabinet uh, it has expired. All that just makes me nervous to throw this away, but there's no sense in actually having it. Oh, this is just an empty bag. I'll use this as the garbage bag to throw away these things. These bags I keep, I do use on occasion, but they're not nearly as valuable to me as those plastic bags that I use to replace buying garbage bags or whatever. So these will go in recycling. See, yet another good use for these bags. I had to get rid of that expired protein so that I could recycle the container. Okay, here's the pantry door that you might have been familiar with because we spent a lot of time organizing that thing right there but here's the pantry it looks so much better because i just have a whole lot more room have more shelves exposed and i did get rid of a lot of things all right here is tucker's little area that we don't touch that's his grilling area and then i keep the the dog food and the cat food right there because of course i access that on a regular basis these are the dog trees my instant pot stuff this right here, one day we'll talk about what this is I use for my Instant Pot when we talk about some recipes or whatever. Coffee is up here. That's some ground coffee that I do. And then there's a box that we get from Costco for the Keurig. Uh, up high are things that we do not use on a regular basis so it can be stored up and out of the way. I do use those. Those are all canning jars and tops. I use these for storage as well as making smoothies in them and things like that. And this is some supplements and stuff that we keep up there. Canned goods, I uh, don't have much. Clearly I have to go to the grocery store. And in these corners I put Lazy Susans to use, good use, because it's very difficult to reach back into corners. And that brings me to this one right here. Now this is a plastic tray that came from the Dollar Tree. It's just a plastic tray. But underneath it is an inexpensive Lazy Susan that I think I got from Walmart. And this is just sitting on top of it. The weight of all the things on it allow it to stay put and to turn. So it's pretty simple fix. Lazy Susans this large are usually very expensive. I don't want to spend a lot customizing this pantry because we know that I'm not staying here, right? So I'll put my expenses into my next house because we will be, or I assume, we're going to be staying there long term. Now I hate to keep bringing this up, but my old house was pretty much customized. I did not have these kinds of shelves in there. I had wood shelves custom built and so everything fit perfectly. It was wonderful. 
So here, I don't like these wire shelves because if things break or leak or something, it drops down into the, the other shelves. So I always like to have things in a container. Furthermore, you can also pull the container out so that you can get to things in the back, which is pretty handy as well. So that's why you see these in, in just boxes. And again, if I were to stay here for any length of time, I would have either bought something or painted these all the same color or something like that. But anyway, so these are just extra things that, you know, you keep on hand that you may need. These are the baking. This is the baking row right here. On here, the only thing sweet that we've got that I can't use is molasses. So it does stay for a really long time. Oh, no, no, no. This is agave. I don't use agave anymore either. So I'm deciding what to do with that. Maybe my neighbor can use that or something or I don't know. But in the meantime, like this, this molasses hadn't even been opened. So I don't know. We'll think about it. Thomas can still eat this stuff, although I limit it. Long story about what to do with teenagers and eating healthy, but that's a story for another day. And down here are oils and different types of vinegars. And I always keep my oils and vinegars in sort, some kind of container because you know how oils drip and sometimes you, you don't even realize it, especially if Tucker is cooking. I'm pretty pleased with this right here. These are containers that I have kept over the years. I bought them back in the 80s when I used to teach school and I'd have the kids fold their papers in half long ways and turn them in like this. I have used them for numerous things over the years and right now they are serving really well as drink holders. I really like that. And then some extra spaghetti sauce, which probably has sugar in it, by the way. Okay, chips and stuff. Again, you have to buy things for teenage boys. We'll talk about that on another day. These are like little portable ice chests and lunch bags and Bentley's overnight bag is down there at the bottom. And here are the garbage bags that we use and I can see that I have enough right now to carry over so I'll be using my portable bag, my cloth bags for my next couple of grocery trips until we use some of these up and then I'll go back to per to using these because to me these are incredibly useful and I've got them stored just by flattening them out and then I slide them in vertically and so that's much neater than what I was just doing earlier. So let's talk about spices just a minute. This is the spice rack that I keep out here right by the stove, so they're handy for cooking. And what I do, I really like this as a matter of fact, but what I do is I refill from the spices that I store in the pantry. Now the thing about spices that I think it's really important to note is I do have expiration dates on them but they're dried spices. So it's not that they're actually going bad and can hurt you or make you sick. What's happening is that their flavor is um, weakening, so to speak. So you might have to put a little bit more if it's expired. Now I knew this and being as thrifty as I am, I would hang on to those spices. I haven't checked the dates in a long time. And when I went through checking dates, I was quite surprised that I had some in there from like, 2013. <laughs> now while they still, I, I mean I really feel like I, they were not causing any problem, but my gut told me, you know what, you don't use half the spices that are here. They're just, why are they taking up a room? And it's true. I would have bought a spice for a particular dish or whatever and then maybe not used it again. So let me show you how I called my spices. <laughs> okay, here it is. <laughs> Oh, there's some spices. There's some cooking wines. And what's that? A few vinegars down at the bottom. Okay, so I've got a lot of room for spices, but I'm not filling them back up. I'm not eager to refill that whole thing. So what I'll do is just buy spices as I need them. I made a note of a few that I wanted to replace, like some dry mustard. I do have a few dishes that I use that in on a regular basis, and some bay leaves, and a few things that just needed to be up to. I think there was only three, actually, that I wrote down. So I'm going to keep it very minimal as I can right now. However, we are doing full-on keto, so as we discover new recipes or whatever, it may lead me to want to try a new spice, but 
I don't know. I'm not motivated to fill that spice rack back up. I did find some old pecans here that I'm giving new life. Put a little butter in your pan and just kind of toss them around. They roast and it's wonderful. Now this next clip is about kitchen cabinets and drawers and because of my schedule I did not do this in small 15 minute blocks of time. I knocked it all out one Sunday afternoon. So day five is to organize and declutter the pot holders and kitchen towels which I do happen to keep in the same drawer. Now I do have a problem in that all of mine are not clean. I have some that are in the washing machine right now so I've left a, a spot for them. And then of course I've got some that are just dirty that have to go to the wash. But in the meantime I've gotten this there. These are those crochet pot holders that I have a tutorial for and I love them. They are my favorites but there are times when your whole hand needs to be covered. Tucker likes to use these kind of um, too, especially when he's grilling. He actually has some longer ones in his grill stuff back in the pantry, but we'll get to that on another day, I guess. Oh wait, let's talk about this real quick. I crocheted this years ago solely for the purpose of put, picking up my teapot lid because it's a cast iron teapot, and that's the whole reason I have this in here. I probably don't need that. <laughs> and then this, look, it's supposed to be a kitchen, what is it, a dishcloth, which I don't use, you know. But it's one of my first knitting projects. Look, I got confused. I was somehow purling right there. But that was pretty good. I've kept this just for sentimental reasons because it was one of my first projects. But in honesty, it needs to go in the rag bag. For day six, I could skip it because I quit using a household notebook way back in the mid-90s. I do most everything digitally. This is great for young families if you would like to look at that and see if, make sure that you have a record of all the things that you need, blah, blah, blah. The bonus mission was to put away Christmas decor. I already did it. So day seven says to read the Organized Home Challenge number two, Kitchen Cabinets. I didn't read it. I just am going ahead and working on my kitchen cabinets because they're not that big of a deal. So I attached that, I mean I did that one and then this one over the ovens and the only thing I came up with to get rid of is the pressure cooker and a couple of mugs. But this cabinet is another story. I have a constant battle with my family about those dreaded plastic cups. Alright, that looks better. And those things right there are going to be donated. Now this could be controversial with my family because those little two mugs right there are from our very first family trip to Disney World, but oh well. And I want to give a shout out to the Magic for Less Travel. If you need a travel agent for Disney, which is totally free to you by the way, they're the people you need. The Magic for Less dot com. So moving on, this corner cabinet is where I keep seasoning mixes, spice mixes, um, and this turns around on a lazy season. Those are my, that's also where I keep my protein for protein shakes and stuff and a fancy bowl is back there for crystal ramekin style bowls. So right here is where the stove top is so it makes sense to keep the most used seasonings, salt, pepper, onion, garlic, things like that all right here to reach very handily. And above the microwave is a cake stand and a giant thing of whey protein that Tyler brought home here and did not use and I'm not shipping him back that thing. This cabinet could use a little work. That is the cabinet where I keep my tea selection and everything but it's kind of overrun into this cabinet so let me work on this. So in order to do that cabinet, this one had to be done. So I went through and combined teas and boxes or whatever. I wish I could take the food processor and get it down low because it's kind of heavy, but I don't have any room in the cabinets down below, at least not yet. So there it sits. Oh, that's the potato salad bowl. Do you have anything like that in your family? That was belonged to my aunt, and it was known as the potato salad bowl. Nothing special, just a plastic bowl, and that's what we use it for, and among other things, but that's its name. So anyhow, I decided to give away those bowls right there. There's actually three of them. We don't need them any longer. If we eat popcorn or mix anything, we'll just use a mixing bowl. So um, I have a big space up there. That's good.
Oh, and in case you're wondering, yes, that's the toaster oven, and we plug it in each time we use it, and then by the time you finish your breakfast, it's cooled down enough and it gets closed up in the cabinet. I don't like a whole lot of appliances and whatnot out on my kitchen counters. I just, I just don't like that. All right, down there is small appliances. We have the crock pot and we have like the sealer, the hand mixer, the mini chopper, things that I really, really want to keep. The big mixer and behind it is the George Foreman grill. Not the ideal location because I can't get to it as easily, but I don't know if it will work up there where I had that empty space. So we're just gonna leave it there for now and move on, continue with the decluttering. Steamer basket, the colanders, pots and pan lids, the blender, this cabinet's fine. Now, day 13, I think it was, was to declutter pots and pans and organize. Now, they might look like they're st stacked kind of willy-nilly, and they kind of are, because I just use them, I pull them out and use them as needed, and put them back quickly, and they're used almost every day. So, on this side are pots, back in the back, that's pans, there's my Dutch oven right there. You can maybe be able to see a plastic thing on top of that pan in the back. That is our microwave cover. And since the microwave is right there, it makes very good sense to have it easy reach. I hate corner cabinets because they're very awkward to get to. And downstairs, I have a wonderful built-in Lazy Susan each shelving unit is like a lazy Susan and that's terrific because then you can get to all parts of it I don't know why they didn't put it up here but anyhow I need to kind of go through there and see what I can rearrange and this little dinky do cabinet makes me so sad every time I use it I had the most wonderful built-in muffin tin cookie sheet type thing over my ovens at the old house that sort of works Day 11 is food storage container organization. I decluttered this a while back, and so it's not that bad right now. You can see back in there, I don't know. But I have these pull-out things, and they, anyway, I know exactly how I have it set up, and it's perfectly organized to suit me, complete with the lids that are right there, and it's, it's great. And then that is the cabinet for the baking dishes and whatnot. So we keep that there. And there's Buzzy. Baking sheets live here under the oven. And the only thing over the refrigerator is a deli slicer that we got for a wedding present. And we love this thing. Now I've totally skipped day 12, which is to organize under the sink. This is a very awkward under the sink because it goes way back there. I don't know if you can tell. And I'm just not in the mood to do it since I played catch up all day today with the rest of the duties for the kitchen. So you know what? That will be put on hold and I will do that later. So day eight was organize and declutter the silverware drawer, but mine was pretty good. Everything in there is something that I use and it all has a place. I took out this one knife that we don't use and that'll go in Thomas's box for when he's ready to set up a, an apartment. Also on day eight is any kind of utensils and stuff like that for the kitchens. I have a drawer there and I have one here on the other side of the cooking area. That's the only drawer I have to the right. So let me go through this thing. So it doesn't look that different, but I did take out some things. You can see them up here. These, this is for the coffee thing, belongs somewhere else. My old pressure cooker so I can give it away. Don't need this anymore so that'll go in the garbage. Don't do any kind of candy cooking so I don't need a candy thermometer. This is garbage as well. This needs to be under the sink for cleaning bottles. And this is when I used to have these, well, I don't need it anymore, but it's the way I rigged to clean this very narrow thing that I had to clean all the time. But I don't have that anymore, so I can get rid of this too. And over here, I've cleaned this, reorganized it a million times, and I, I just did it again. And as I just looked in it, there's nothing else I can take out of here. I use every bit of this. And everything has to be put in a certain way because all the drawers in this house are so shallow. It drives me crazy. 
So I'm happy to say that I'm really putting a good dent on the decluttering here in this kitchen. This actually, was, I found all these things in the pantry, and so they'll go downstairs in the basement for a future storage project, right? But I've gotten every one of the cabinets except for under the dreaded kitchen sink. Um, yeah. I have recorded a bajillion little clips today, so I don't know when any of these are going to be pieced together because my creativity happens when I sit down and say, oh, I think I'll put that clip here and this clip here. So Lord knows what you're going to be looking at when you finally get the finished product. I don't know. But I'm going to wrap this one up here. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.